Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. We have got Vlogmas Day 4 today and I thought I would do a little tutorial of how I do this makeup look which is almost just my go-to Christmas glam night out makeup look when I'm not just wearing literally brow and bronzer. Happy 7th of December. If you want to see how I got this look then keep watching. Okay, first things first, we're going to clip the hair back. These are just little clips from Primark actually um, and they really do the job for just getting your hair out your face. I haven't actually styled my hair yet. It's still a little bit wet but I'll give it a blast with the hair dry and then I'm just going to let it air dry and we'll style it at the end for the finished product you know. Um, but yeah, let's get into the makeup look. First things first, I always do my brows even before I moisturise just because I've been noticing recently if I don't do them first the sometimes don't like the product doesn't cling as well and it's almost like the oils in my moisturizer which is the skin food which is obviously so thick and oily um i feel like it stops them staying in place so i like to just do this first and then when i moisturize i obviously just avoid the brow area so this is the refi brow sculpt and i've been using this for about probably a year now and it's so good like it keeps your brows in place so well. If you usually use like soap brows um, and like that like laminated stuck up vibe, you need to get this. It's so good. I'm also just using this mirror. So if you see that pop into the shot, that is why. Um, but as you can see, I literally just brush this through all my brow hairs. If you've watched any previous tutorials of mine, um, on my weekly vlogs you'll know that I put it through and then I just leave it for a few minutes to sit before I sculpt them into place. Okay so once that's been sat for a few minutes I just take the lid off of the refi that is disgusting. Dion, that needs a clean. Um, and then I use this side of the tool to literally just brush the brows up into the direction I want and they just stay there when you do this. This step honestly like it just glues them into place and they're just stuck there. It's an absolute game changer to be honest. And then this might sound a little bit strange but what I like to do is just take the brush along the top and just kind of curve off the top of the brow. I just feel like it looks a little bit neater. Um, so just like that. Okay, and that is brows done. I don't fill them in yet, I fill them in a little bit later. So now it's moisturised time. I use skin food. I've raved about this so many times. It is super thick, hydrating, and it's just such a nice base for your makeup because it gives your skin such a glow. I don't know about anyone else, but this time of year, my skin is so dry and dehydrated. Um, so this is the perfect base to use. I mean, you can already see the glow from using it. It does feel really thick and sometimes quite hard to rub in um, but it's definitely worth it. It's such a good moisturiser for under foundation. Do you know what it almost reminds me of? Who remembers when people used to use the Nivea shaving balm as primer? What a weird time. I always remember that. My friend did it and I was like interesting so I did it because she did it and it used to be actually really good. This almost reminds me of that. I'm just putting a little bit more under my eyes because my eyes are so dry at the minute. It's really not a vibe. I get really dry eyelids and really dry under eyes and it's actually quite painful. Like, look at that glow from literally just moisturiser. Sorry, but you need it. Okay, when it comes to foundation, if you watch my videos a lot, you'll know I'm not really a foundation girl. Um, but when I'm doing like a full coverage, evening, night out, glam vibe, how many words? I like to use a foundation, but the first thing I'll use is the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. This is a tinted moisturiser and it just gives your skin a nice glow again and then I go in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in shade Syracuse 
that is the shade um and i just use this on the places where i feel like i need more coverage so i get really red cheeks um i get a really red patch like here um so i just use that to kind of cover up and use it almost like a concealer but blend it all out because it is quite dark so first up i'm going to use the beauty blur i've got the shade latte medium just put a little bit on my finger put it on both cheeks and using a beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that all out on my skin. I really like this because it's super light coverage, so it's quite nice in the summer as well when you've got a natural tan and you just want a little bit more coverage to just um, use as a nice base. I'm obviously just avoiding my eyebrows um, and not trying to get any product in them. And then to be honest, my redness isn't too bad today, so I'm only going to use a tiny bit of the NARS foundation, like literally the tiniest bit. And just pop this on both my cheeks, um, avoiding my under eye area though, because I like to just not put any foundation on that area at all. And again, taking the same beauty blender, I'm just going to blend all of that out so that it all blends in in moving on to concealer again i use a mix of two i love the it cosmetics bye bye under eye this is so thick and full coverage you need the tiniest bit and then the iconic london concealer as well in shade natural beige this one is shade medium tan so i'll go in first with the it cosmetics and again like i said the tiniest tiniest amount is needed and i just dab that in the center underneath my eye and the outer corner of my eye hardly literally any that you can see it and then with the iconic concealer i do it in the exact same places so a little bit under there and a little bit here a little bit under there and a little bit here and then i just do a little bit on my forehead a little bit down the center of my nose and if i have got redness i'll put this but my redness here is actually okay today um so i think i'll be okay without it and then just a little bit around my nose where i also get some redness and i just take the same beauty blender to blend all of that out if i feel like i want them to be a little bit brighter under my eye i'll just add a little bit more every time which sometimes i do fancy um, so I'm just adding a little bit more and building coverage as I go. There we go, that is a little bit brighter and fresher under those eyes. And then I'll just leave that for a second to go in and do a little bit of contour. So I use the Nude Sticks Contour Stick in shade Deep Nine. I love this. I've been using this for quite a while now. And I just do both cheekbones my forehead jawline and down the side of each nose like so to blend it in i use a morphe m6 brush uh, this is really good at just like seamlessly buffing it out and when i do blend it out i make sure to pull it in an upwards direction and almost like pat it into place again with this product i like to start off with a little and then i can always add more if needed but it's so easy to just buff and blend out same applies to the forehead i'm just pulling it up in an upwards direction to give yourself a mini facelift for the nose contour i go in with a smaller morphe brush just so it's a little bit more precise and I just like to literally blend out where I've made the lines. See what I mean? It just so easily blends. Um, and I bring it almost like up to the brow and just drag it down my nose. Then finally with contour, I go in with the Refi Summer Skin in the shade Tan, also using the Refi brush, which again is so good at blending out. This is well loved. And I just add a little bit more coverage to my contour and just a little bit more of a deeper colour. Okay and then to set my under eyes I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. 
I only recently got this and it's changed my life. I use my sister's and I've seen obviously people have used this for years, like it's a classic. I've never used it. I'm actually angry at myself because what have I been doing for my whole life to be honest? Um, and I literally just put this using the same beauty blender, get the product on and dab it into my under eye. Like so. I also bring it up the sides of my nose where I've contoured to um, just snatch the nose contour a bit more. Okay, looking a little bit crazy, I just leave that to just sit for a couple of minutes and do its thing and brighten those under eyes. And while it's doing that, I'll go in and fill my brows in. I'm using the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer in Dark Brown. I love this. I also love the Refai one, but I've run out, so this has been my go-to at the minute. And I like to keep my brows really natural and bushy so i just fill in where there's any sparse areas um especially around the front just adding in a few natural hair strokes where i can and there is one brow done and then onto this one okay brows are done and i then go in just with this really old real techniques brush and just brush off all of the powder that was under my eyes buffing it all in excuse this dry patch on my eyelid like i said let me know if you're the same my skin is so dry at the minute and my eyelids really suffer i do put on the elizabeth arden eight hour cream which i rave about all the time and um, if anyone has any recommendations for like dry eyelids please hit a girl up because it's just not a vibe and it gets like so dry and itchy and it's just not what i'm here for right now so that is looking all smooth and buffed out and then i use the nyx hd finishing powder to just buff out a little bit on my forehead a little bit where i get redness on the bottom of my jaw and just make sure that it's all seamlessly blended in okay i then use the hula caramel um bronzer i prefer this to the like original hula just feel like it's a lot warmer and less like cool toned and i do sometimes use this brush but recently i've been using this iconic brush which is like an angled contour brush and I just add some more coverage and colour to my cheekbones. I like quite a defined contour on the cheekbones. And I basically just go over anywhere where I cream contoured or cream bronzed. Just to intensify it a little bit and use it almost like a powder. Blush recently I've been loving the Beauty Bay Peachy Blush. It's like a pink peach vibe i usually use nars taj mahal which is a lot more orange peachy toned but i've been preferring like a pink recently so this has been my go-to and i put this above my contour where i would highlight to just lift your cheeks and add a youthful bit of rosiness you know i also like to just put a little bit of blusher on the end of my nose my chin and my forehead i don't know why i've always done it i just feel like it gives you it almost looks like you're naturally a little bit sun a little bit sunburn. Oh, that is skin basically done, apart from highlight, because I do highlight as the very last thing. Um, but yeah, really happy with that. So now let's move on to eyes. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way palette. I got this quite recently because, I, again, I'd use my sister's. I copy basically everything my sister does when it comes to makeup. Um, but this is the Born This Way Natural Nudes. I'd used hers and it's just the perfect colours for me. I really like a pinky, nudey eye. I feel like that's what suits me best because I wear quite a pink lip. Um, but the colours in this are just absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed. Again, if you're a regular around here, you know that I'm not very advanced in the makeup department, especially when it comes to eyes, and especially when I've got dry eyes like this. But we move and we try, and it's all about just trying, you know, we don't all have to be Desi Perkins, we can just try. Um, so what I do is I go in with Warm Rose, which is this warm pinky tone, and I just put that almost all over my lid. And then I just use this fluffy brush to blend it all out. This also does quite a good job of hiding my dry patch because it's pretty much the same colour. Great. I just blend it all out so that is just a really natural base colour for my eye. So these four here are like my favourite colours. So I then go in with the lighter pink which is called Petal and put that 
on like the main lid area. And that's pretty much as advanced as we get because then I literally just go into this shimmery tone and this shimmery tone which is shimmer and pearl and rose gold and I mix them together with my fingers and I just dab that on the eyelid. Honestly the pigment in these eyeshadows is just amazing. A little bit goes such a long way. So as you can see if you're like me and you don't really feel like you suit a lot of eye makeup or you're not very skilled in the area you can just do something really easy and it looks nice and glam and put together. I then use the Ico Limitless Longwear Eye Pencil um, and I just put a little bit of this on the outer corner like so like the tiniest bit and then I just get this really small brush and just like blend it out a little bit to add a bit of darkness to the outer corner. I just find that that's a lot less stressful compared to trying to do a wing eyeliner and it just looks a little bit more of like a natural smoked out look. I've also really been liking recently just taking the exact same pencil, putting a little bit in my waterline um, just to darken up the eyes a little bit. I feel like it looks quite sexy and cat eye vibes. Because this pencil is brown as well, it's a lot less harsh than like a black eyeliner. Um, but do you see what I mean? I've done this eye and I haven't done this eye. It just makes it a little bit more night out. I then just curl my lashes with, these are really old, I think they were from Ico. Um, but just give my lashes a little curl. And I'm going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Again, this is just like an old faithful, isn't it? I feel like I've used this for years and years. It's so good for getting every single lash. And I also only do my top lashes because sometimes I just feel like the bottom's a bit too much. Um, and my bottom lashes are really long so they can sometimes just look like spider's legs. That is my mascara done. Okay, time for lips. When I'm doing more of a night out glam look, I do mix up my usual lip combo so it's always always beauty bay what shade is this i want to say heather i'll leave it linked down below but it's just i mean it needs a sharpen um but it's a nice pinky tone and i just line my lips with that first i then use morphe spiffy pencil um and just go over my cupid's bow and the center of my bottom lip Just to add a little bit of contour and then my new favourite lip gloss, which again I copied off my sister. That's what sisters are for, isn't it? Is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss. It is honestly the best gloss ever. Like I put it on and it's not sticky, it's not like gloopy, it's just unbelievable to be honest. Oh, I love it so much. And that is my lip combo. And last but not least is highlight. I always do this last because the highlight I use is the Refai highlight. Love this so much. I literally love everything that Jess brings out with that brand. She smashed it. Um, and it's like, it's like a gloss. Let me show you. I've shown you this before. Um, but I use about that much. And I always just put it on my hand first so I can work with it from there. As you can see, it's just got the most gorgeous, like, goldy, glossy pigment, but it's not sticky on your face. And I just apply this on to the high points of my cheekbones and blend it out with my ring finger. I also like to bring it up to my forehead as well. Look at that. It's just stunning. Go in and get some more on my hand and do the same on this side. And then I just like to add a little bit on the end of my nose and also up the bridge of my nose to intensify the contour. And with any excess, I'll just add it onto my collarbones because it makes such a nice body glow as well. It's just amazing. 
so nice on holiday when you've got a tan. Wow. And then, of course, we've got to set it with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have been using this since I went to prom. I remember I got my prom makeup done at Urban Decay and she used this on me and I've been using it ever since. It honestly keeps your makeup on all night. It does what it says on the bottle. Wow. Give your face a fan. Let me pop and quickly style my hair and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay guys, so I've quickly just curled my hair. If you want a tutorial on how I curl my hair, then let me know. I can always film that in an episode of Vlogmas. Um, but this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you all enjoyed this. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description that I've used and that I've mentioned. And I will see you in two days time. Bye.